I want you to be here. Just come back, please. <laughs> please. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I hope, I hope you are happy. I will spend the rest of my life paying for this. Push on it. You'll get it done. I just, I look at this and I think of all this stuff on Josh. Everything was split open. You can see his bones and blood and guts. And Standing safely in the apartment, I'm like, the love of my life, the help. And I just kept saying to myself, I just killed yourself. I just killed yourself. <laughs> Wondering why the whole time I was ever going to think that he could catch himself. <laughs> I was hoping maybe he'd just fall and break his leg or something. <laughs> you was hoping he would fall? No, I mean, while he was falling, all these thoughts were running through my head, like, please catch yourself, just... Okay, why, <laughs> why did you... Was you fixing to go out the door? What do you mean? Was you fixing, when you fixing to come out my house? Yeah, I was waiting for him to leave. <laughs> I didn't even yell at him or anything. I don't know what happened. He was the one walking around yelling at me, being mean, and I was just cleaning up the glass. I didn't, I didn't say anything mean to him. I didn't yell at him. I just sat in the bathroom crying so hard I was throwing up. And he came in there and said, he said we've. I've got all these options. He said, what do you, he said, you want me, he kept saying, what do you want to do? And I said, please make your own decisions. And he said, okay, I will. He said, I want to work things out with you, but we need to be separated for a while. His, he had already talked to his dad. just got off the phone with him. His dad was at work, so his dad was going to pick him up after he got off of work. That's why he was going with his friend. And he was on the phone with his friend, and he just hung up with his... I mean, I don't even know if he was on the phone. I don't know. I just... <laughs> well, then you come out of the bathroom? Yeah, I came... I was getting... He had dumped all my laundry out. And I was putting it all back in there. I just don't understand why. I just wish I could go back. And just have left. Go 
know, you gathered your laundry up when you just didn't go out the door. Yeah, and I, I couldn't leave because the guy was in there measuring the window that Josh had broke. Was all this going on with the guy there? He was out on the balcony measuring the window from the outside on the balcony from the bedroom, and we were in the living room. Oh. So it was somebody in the... Yeah, so I couldn't leave because the guy was in there measuring the apartment. Were y'all hollering and stuff? No. We weren't yelling or anything. Josh was yelling, but not while the guy was in there. Where was the guy? Had he left? No, he was there when Josh was Still fell. there? He was still there? Yeah, he was out on the balcony, and I... S he heard me start screaming. <laughs> I was screaming. Just screaming, running around. And I ran out the door to go down the elevator to go meet to go get Josh. And he came out and he was like, oh my God, he fell. And I was like, I know. I was like, I have to go get him. Hello. Hey. Uh, nothing more. Uh, I'm just still sitting in here and uh, room with Amber. Well, I told her to wait to, not to say anything till the attorney got here. Uh, I don't know. They should be. The cops had them down at the apartment uh, answering questions. And I'm sure that they'll then be down here because the investigator was going to call Rhonda. So I'm just sitting and waiting until attorney shows up or Ron. Uh, yeah, I told him, uh, he's called me, but I told him I couldn't really tell him anything or talk to him right now because I'm kind of stuck here in this room. So, but, so I'm going to sit in here with her until Rhonda Nim gets here and the uh, attorney. Alrighty. Have you heard from your mom? Haven't heard anything. No, I've been no, trying to call and she hadn't answered, so. Call uh, Dr. Whitlock and his is 918 uh, Is he aware of what's going on? Yeah, he's uh, with Rhonda. Two, yeah. two, two, six, five. Is the last Do Dr. Whitlow, is that her husband? Whitlock. Whitlock. Uh -huh. Is that her husband? Uh -huh. The last I heard, they were at the apartment. Uh, okay. They were, the officers was questioning them. So is this Dr. Whitlock? Yes. Yeah, how you doing, sir? My name's Jeff Felton. Tulsa Police? Yes, sir. I'm here I'm here with Amber, and uh, I was hoping to get a statement, and she said her mom was contacting an attorney. Do you know who that'd be, or if he's going to come down today? Or do... Okay. Okay, would you, uh, would you call my cell phone when you get hold of one? Or, in fact, you can give him my cell phone number as well to see if he's going to allow her to make a statement or if he wants to come talk to her or see what's going on, okay? okay. All right.
Was it's I on the Jeff way down? Felton. J E F F. No, Felton. F is in Frank. Yeah, E L T O N. Yes, sir. And seven two four six nine two nine. Thank you much. All right, bye bye. Would you like water, pop, anything? Do you got? You want? You got a pop machine? Uh, yeah, yeah. I get, I get you. I think uh, I got some Mountain Dew. Hey, Rob. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah. Here, come on. Hold on, you're fine. Hello. What? Hey, I can't hear you. Adam. Hello. Uh, she just went to the bathroom. She, we're down here in the investigating room. She won't be able to talk to you. Well, Josh is dead. I, he fell out of the window. And she can't say anything down here right now. Rhonda and him's on their way down. I'm in here with her until um, somebody gets here. Okay? I, I mean, I'm sorry. When I get out and know a little more, I'll call you. Or one of us will. All right? All right. Love you. Bye.